Hey, it's Clary and today I'll be showing you how to install add-ons on your Bedrock server. Firstly, head to a website like mcpedl.com to browse add-ons for Bedrock. Find an add-on you like and scroll down to the download section. This may take a while on some add-ons as there's a lot of description. Depending on the add-on, you might need to download separate files for behaviors and resources. You'll see them named clearly. Click on each file if needed to download them. Sometimes it may take you through a process where you'll just see some ads, but just follow the instructions and don't click on anything else other than the appropriate download buttons. Once your add-on is downloaded, we can now proceed to installing them on your server. Now all you have to do is head to the server.pro website and enter your VPS, then enter your Bedrock service. Make sure your server is set to the latest Bedrock version and is currently offline. This is important as some add-ons don't work for all the versions and it's less confusing this way. Go to the Files tab on the Control Panel. We'll see separate folders for Behaviour Packs and Resource Packs there. Your add-on should be downloaded like this. If your add-on was downloaded as this kind of format, extract the downloaded files into a zip and then extract them into a folder as you can see I'm doing here. Ensure you do this with all add-on files downloaded. Once that's done, you'll see two folders that look like this inside. So now, drag those extracted files to the appropriate folders on the server. For example, sometimes it may appear as BP or RP for behavior pack and resource pack, so just drag them into the respective folder. I'll be dragging the behavior pack into the behavior packs folder, and I'll be dragging the RP pack into the resource packs folder. Still on the files tab, navigate to the worlds folder, and then your specific world folder, for example, bedrock underscore level. Then click to create a new file there. Name the file world underscore behaviors underscore packs.json. Copy the provided text from the video description and paste that into the file as you can see here. You'll see a couple features you have to edit. Replace UUID here with the actual UUID from the add-ons manifest.json file. You can find that by opening up the add-on folder from before and heading to manifest.json. When you open it up, it'll open as a text file and then you'll find the UUID at the very top. Replace version number here with the version number from the add-ons manifest.json file as well. This will be the first version number you can see at the top. Once that's done, save that file. Repeat those previous steps, but create a new file named world underscore resource underscore packs.json. Replace the UUID and version number with the resource packs information. Again, it's the information you can find at the very top of the file. Once you're all done configuring that, save the changes made to the world files and start the server. Once your server started up, copy its hostname and keep in mind the server port as we're going to be testing out the add-ons. Then open up Minecraft Bedrock. In your Minecraft Bedrock game, go to the Servers tab and click Add Server. Enter the server hostname and port number from your server's provider control panel. Name the server and then join. It may come up with a prompt asking if you want to install resource packs. This means that the add-on is working, so press download everything and join. Now that I'm on my server, I'll go into Creative and the mod I've added is definitely there. I'll then be placing it down and it works just as intended. If you've also experienced this, then that means you followed the older steps correctly. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!